The gap between rich and poor in this country has never been greater. In fact, we have the biggest income disparity gap of any industrialized country in the world. You have what degree of confidence in your ability to control this? 100%. 100%. Ninety days ago, we requested Ben Bernanke's resignation as Federal Reserve Chairman. Mr. Bernanke has not complied with our request. The Federal Reserve's policies are systematically moving the country to enrich one-tenth of one percent of the population. The Federal Reserve has deliberately driven tens of millions of people into poverty. The Federal Reserve is responsible for crimes against humanity. The Federal Reserve gave trillions of American taxpayer dollars, in secrecy, to the people who were most responsible for causing our economic crisis. Our tax dollars were handed out as all time. Record-breaking bonuses to top executives at the too big to fail global banks. The Federal Reserve gave American taxpayer dollars to foreign banks and corporations. The Federal Reserve directly subsidized tax evasion by funneling taxpayer dollars into the Cayman Islands. The Federal Reserve gave American tax dollars to their primary dealer banks, so the banks could then lend that same money back to the U.S. government at higher interest rates, leading to significant profits for the banks, at the further expense of the American public. Through bailout programs, the Federal Reserve socialized financial losses onto American taxpayers and privatized profits into the hands of global banks. The Federal Reserve aids and abets trillions of dollars in accounting fraud. The Federal Reserve routinely manipulates the stock market. The Federal Reserve deliberately caused inflation in the price of food gas and basic necessities while devaluing the dollar. The Federal Reserve represents the central planning force behind a global banking cartel that has deliberately impoverished people throughout the world. U.S. politicians have not taken action to break up the Federal Reserve and the too big to fail banks. U.S. politicians have not taken action to prosecute the people who caused our economic crisis. U.S. politicians have not taken action to end the system of political bribery, the campaign finance and lobbying racket which allows global bankers to control our political process. Democrats have failed us. Republicans have failed us. No one is defending our interests. We cannot remain passive while our future is going up in flames. It is time for us to stand up for ourselves. It is time for you to stand up for yourself. We must restore the rule of law and fight back against the organized criminal class. We must now launch Operation Empire State Rebellion. Operation Empire State Rebellion. Operation will commence on June 14th. As a first step, we are calling upon you to occupy a public space until Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke steps down. Operation Empire State Rebellion Engaged Expect us Stop! And you've got to indicate to the people who run it, to the people who own it, that unless you're free, 
The machine will be prevented from working at all! We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.